Within this lesson, we're going to talk about how easy it is to add media to a post and how to actually finalize a post. So in the previous lesson, we talked about setting up a post. Uh, we've also got an option here to customize our, our permalink. Uh, so this is what we talked about before with SEO, where we might want to actually create a really custom, uh, custom uh, URL. So cool URL here. So if that's exactly what I wanted, if I want to have a cool URL here, so this can be the actual link of the page. And the really cool thing about WordPress, again, is uh, really a lot of really cool stuff because it's data-based driven content. It's not actually connected to these URLs. So you can change these. And um, if you don't like it, you can actually change it again. Uh, but always keep in mind that search engines are indexing this and if you are changing the pages, you're gonna get that 404 error page not found. So be careful with changing these, uh, but it is a good option to have where you can update those permalinks. So now to add media. So this is gonna be super easy. Uh, so with media, you're actually gonna have the media library, and this is a really cool feature of WordPress. Uh, we're able to upload files where we're simply able to drag and drop files in. So I've got a few images here that I'm going to actually just drag and drop and we see how easily it brings it over into our server and of course I'm on localhost so it doesn't really have to do a lot of uploading over the internet uh, but um, again it's just so easy and it gives us this option here to update the alt text uh, title caption and so on and then we can just simply insert it into the post and what this has done, my upload files, if you notice that it's actually changed the tab from the upload files to the media library and it's pre-selected all of them. So if I only wanted to add in maybe the first one into the post and I wanted to just, and again for search engine and for accessibility, always make sure that you're adding in that alt text. Captions are good too as well. Uh, title of the image um, and then a description of the image. So always really good to have. That's always really good best practices when you're creating websites. Uh, you can also update the alignment. So you can have the images left, center, right, or none. And this is in line with the text. So I'm gonna put it left and uh, we can also update the image as well. We get some information about the image, so we get a size, uh, file, um, the file size as well. So some really good information there if we want to uh, find that out. We can also insert it from directly from a URL, another really cool feature. Uh, we can create galleries uh, to better organize our images. So now all we have to do, and then also uh, one more thing, we're able to actually link it to a custom URL. We can link it to the media file, or we can just leave it without a link. So that can all be done right here. Custom URL, we uh, add in that link there. Uh, so that's gonna automatically add in the hyperlink. So again, really well thought out uh, the way that WordPress works, because a lot of times you're adding Im images and they're gonna link to something. So it's good that it's that option is there. And here you have those size options that we looked at earlier. And we've got the ability for thumbnail, medium, large. And as you can see, it's updated the dimensions so that the width is always gonna be that max width of 300, but the height is the one that's gonna change. So we don't have disproportionate images because if we uploaded an image and if we wanted an exact square 300 by 300, we can't do that with an image that's 1200 by 630. So keep that in mind. And I'm just gonna leave it as medium by default. Uh, because this is probably the best way to go when I'm adding it to my page. And now I'll have to do insert post, and there it gets inserted. I see that I've got the caption. When I go to the actual HTML, it's created all of that HTML. So caption, ID, so it's given some meta information there. And it's also got a class, so size, medium. So that's where it's getting that max medium of 300. It's given a, a custom ability to add classes to that particular image, so WordPress image nine. And then it's linking to the source of the image. It's entered in that alt information that I set up. 
and then here it's just ending in that caption. Uh, so this is a really good option with these captions and this meta information on captions, good for screen readers and so on. And a lot of themes and templates really do take advantage of what's available in this caption information. So always a really good thing. So going back to the visual, uh, and of course now when we go to media, we've got all of this media in our library. We can create a brand new gallery as well if we wanted to. Uh, we can have featured images uh, and then inserting from URL. So a lot of really good options. And now we can actually get to finalizing our post. Uh, so here on the right hand side we've got our format. So if we're uploading a post and we have a particular format in mind, we can set that here. Usually you're just going to be using standard. Uh, here we've got ability to publish. Uh, so publishing, again, really good, well thought out options. I can save it as a draft. I can preview th that, so previewing it. And this is what it's going to actually look like. I can also um, update the visibility. So if I want something that's uh, password protected, really easy to do that. I can change my status here depending review. So if I was working uh, with other web content producers and I wanted people to review content before I put it up, I can always set it for pending review. Uh, so uh, also I have an option here to publish and I can set an actual publish time. So this is a lot of this is one of those features in WordPress that people don't always use. And I mean it's it's a really good feature because this gives you the ability to come in and make three or four posts and prepare for the following week of content. Because uh, as you're probably aware, uh, Google loves new content, uh, search engines love new constant content, and if you've got four posts, you might not want to put them up all at once. You want to make it break it out for the next few days and really um, work with a schedule, content schedule. So that's why I say this is one of those things that people don't always take advantage of and it's just a really good f feature and option to have because uh, to publish at a certain time uh, really does work with content schedules because we can't always be uh, at our computers when we want to be and sometimes we want to be publishing our content when most of our users are online. Uh, so here um, categories. So these are the categories that we've created. So now I can begin to start creating it in and putting content in there. I can also see the most used one as well. And this is a feature if I've got a whole ton of categories, I want to see which ones I'm most using. I can just simply do most used. And here, um, again, just as what I was doing in categories, I have the ability to create new category. So if something doesn't fit anywhere, you don't actually have to leave the post, go to categories and create a new one. You can just create it in a new category. And here we have that option to place it under something. Uh, so if I want had a portfolio and, and if I had my websites, I can add it in as a new category. And that will automatically update, no page refresh. I still haven't saved this, but I've got all of that information ready to go. Uh, so tags, tags again for search engines, for organizing your content and so on. So I can add in different tags. I can cho choose from ones that are most used and so on. And so down here at the bottom, uh, featured image, some templates uh, as well as some WordPress themes are going to use these images as icons for the page. Uh, featured pages and so on. So this is where featured image comes into play. So if I wanted to use one of my already uploaded images, I can simply do featured image. And now this post is going to have this icon image. And if I'm using a theme that can access and use that, um, I'm going to be able to see that. Uh, so again, customized themes, really good thing with uh, these uh, featured images, really good option. So when I'm ready, I can either save the draft or I could simply publish it. So right now I'm just going to publish immediately. If I set a time, then hit publish, then it would publish it at the time that I was set. Uh, so now I can actually see a preview here. Uh, so what we're looking at right now, this is going to be the same as the editor. 
Uh, so same thing, editing posts is going to be the same thing as creating posts. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that in the upcoming lesson. Uh, so this is the brand new post that I made. And this is where everything fit in on the post.